Hey guys, it's a warm day in Mexico City on a Sunday afternoon and today I'm going to show you a restaurant which is actually popular about pasties, Eng English pasties but these are actually Mexican pasties and the place we're going to is called Kikos and here you can see it have a look at Kikos now the story behind it is many years ago um, the, the Mexicans obviously had lots of silver and they needed people to come and work in the mines so miners from Cornwall came to Mexico and got work here and, and uh, did their thing and obviously they brought pasties with them and the pasties have stayed in the country and here you are so let's go inside and check it out see here all the warm pasties look at that very nice okay I'm gonna order here's the menu so you have apparently a classic for them is which is gracias is atun con papa which is what I've got not definitely not a classic in England that's for sure and here you can see they have some specials, premium ones, for 14 pesos. I'll put the amount on the screen. With Philadelphia. So let's find a place to sit. Kind of has a... McDonald's-y feel. Well, I mean, it's all shiny. Okay, let's, let's sit here, shall we? Okay, I'm sitting down, and they're actually playing Blur on the TV. So let's see what I've got, shall we? Let's open it. So I ordered a, a tune classic and a pineapple with Philadelphia. Again, definitely you don't get that in England. Well, I'm just gonna open it all up now and show you. Okay guys, I'm gonna go for the Pina Philadelphia first. Just to prove it is actually a Pina Philadelphia, there is, there is the writing. Pina means pineapple in Spanish. Here we go. Let's focus. Focus, focus. So, pineapple and Philadelphia cheese doesn't sound like the most normal combination. But I have to say, it actually tastes really good. And I'll give it a... 7.5 out of 10. Here's a better view of it. Look at that, the cheese and pineapple. And I find this place quite weird how it's kind of like a fast food restaurant, but for pasties. Now in England, we don't really have that culture, although I guess the pasty is originally from England. Okay, next guys, we're going to eat a tuna fish pasty. I don't remember tuna fish pasties being that popular in England, if at all. But here, it was apparently a classic. A classic Mexican pasty. Tuna fish pasty. And here you can see the guy. Obviously, he is a, a miner. And if you look here, you can see, or you can't see, but it actually says Hidalgo. There you go, Hidalgo, on there. And Hidalgo is a state north of Mexico City where there has been a lot of mining for, for silver. Okay, I'm gonna dig in and show you inside. Okay, this is the inside of the Tuna Classic pasty. Um, really difficult to focus, I'm sorry about that. Um, this isn't as good actually, and it's a bit spicy. So, for this one, I'm going to give it 5.5 mm, out of 10. Now, I never imagined in my life I would be eating a tuna fish pasty in Mexico with George Michael playing. Look at that. This is quite a random combination, I have to say. Hey guys, they're now playing Pure Shores. 
So we had Blur before. So I'm guessing the year is 1999. Am I right? What do people think? Okay, I'm gonna leave. So if you have any comments, I'd love to read them. And please remember to subscribe. Okay guys, until next time.